Welcome back to Lime Diaries. I'm Ari and this is my mom, Deanne. And today we're gonna be showing you how big or how small a tick can actually be. So most people think that ticks are about this big, but they're actually a lot smaller. What is that that you just looked it up? Oh, it's a it's a garbanzo. And it's garbanzo beans, it's yeah, about it's, like 10 millimeters, which is like yeah. an adult size, good size tick. Mm -hmm. Okay. But not all ticks are that large. No. And of course they get more enlarged once you know they're gorging, engorging themselves on the blood. Uh, but how, how you have some other things there to show how much smaller they can get? Yeah. Some ticks are also this <laughs> this big, as big as a chocolate chip. Is that a mini or a regular? Um it's it's a mini chocolate chip. Okay, so that's going a little bit smaller. Let's mm -hmm. keep going smaller. Okay. And um but you can't notice when it most people can't notice even if the tick is this small, like it's it's pretty small. It's the mm -hmm. big on the little tippy of the needle. Mm -hmm. And it gets smaller because some are adult ticks, some are nymphs, some are larvae, and they all have different sizes. Okay, you want to show them what the small, small ticks look like? Like you could not notice. It's it, Can you even see it on here? It's really little. That's like the size of like a poppy seed, so tiny. It's on like a little one and a half to two inch piece of tape and it's in the center and it's a tiny it's round like, dot. You see it? It's a piece of pepper. She's putting the tape like up a couple inches from the yeah. screen so you can like see it. That's compared to my nail. Right, right. Look at your nail. <laughs> Do that again. That was cool. Okay, look at her fingernail and then look how tiny it is. It's really little. And a lot of ticks are actually that big and no one notices that they actually get bit by a tick. Yeah, that, that small, that big, yeah. right? So the point is, even if you don't see the tick, see anything, check for ticks. Even if you don't feel anything, check for ticks. And check really thoroughly. Now, Arya got um, chronic Lyme in utero. She got, through me, she got Lyme. Mm -hmm. um, but also, she got bit by a tick just a few weeks ago when we were on a trip. And we did a lot of preparation to make sure that she wouldn't get bit by a tick, but she still did. And even with all the knowledge we have, she, we didn't catch it right away. So you want to tell what you were wearing to prepare to help? Um, yeah, I was wearing long pants, I think, and um, I was wearing a big hat that covered my basically my entire head, and a lot of well, we had bug spray, I think. Yeah, bug spray, and you had um, with with DEET in it and some other things. And you had, um, I think it was called, what's it called, Nocturnal? I don't remember the name, but anyway, it had some other things besides DEET that are supposed to be really great for ticks. Mm -hmm. And then also, you had boots on, you had long yeah, socks. Yeah, socks, that other stuff like that. And then we got back from our trip, and we were going to swim team, and I said, look, it looks like there's a piece of dirt in your ear, right? what's going on? And I went to swim team, and I swam for like two hours after that. You mean you didn't swim for two well, hours? No, you swam and then you came home. Yeah, and then I swam more and everything like that. And it still didn't come out. And it basically looked like a piece of dirt. It was a little bit bigger than this, but I mean, not, not that much bigger. And so then the next morning, we're again, we're rushing to swim team, and, or not swim team, to an appointment. And I said, what is that? That dirt's still in there. And this is be because we'd already checked for ticks after we had been on the trip. Like, we had checked then, and we, I didn't see anything. Yeah, you were, like, checking everywhere. Yeah, I was checking everywhere. I didn't see anything. So anyway, then the next morning, after we got back, and I noticed the piece of, quote, dirt, it didn't look like it was moving or anything. She said, it was a tiny piece of dirt in her ear. It was your right ear. Yeah. Anyway, the next morning, I'm like, what is that? And then I'm like, could that be a tick? And so then we took the iPhone and we took a picture of it. And then we zoomed in and we saw actually some legs and it did look like a tick. But it kind of looked like a small mole too. But Yeah, so I mean it took us like totally zooming in with the iPhone like way in to see that it had legs and that it was a tick. Mm -hmm. And then we removed the tick and then we took it off and it put it in a little Ziploc and it, it, was, alive. it was alive. It was tiny. And it had blood all over it. Yeah, so the, you know, the more it feeds on you than the larger it's going to get. It had been get. on me a few days. Yeah, and we had looked. But, so, we really want to help other people avoid that, um, to check for ticks, because it can be extremely tiny. A lot of people say, oh, I checked, or oh, I didn't feel anything. Well, that doesn't 
That doesn't mean you yeah. didn't have one. And that ticks can be bigger than this, like or smaller than this. Yeah, it's, a lot smaller. It's not just that big. Like if you, you, they're not like super noticeable at all. Some people will say they can be as small as a period at the end of a sentence, or the the um, head of a, a regular, you know, tiny pin, or as small as a poppy seed, like that little tiny piece she was showing you. All right. Well, I hope that gives you a, an idea of, of what to look for. And ticks can't fly, but they can move around your body, and they'll and they'll, they'll look... like fall down on you on purpose. Like... Yeah, I read that they can kind of hang on like a little blade of grass or something with their back, some of their back legs, and kind of be like reaching out with their front legs, and then they'll just kind of grab onto you as you go by. And then they can crawl a bit once they're on you and kind of change locations, you know, and they'll try to find nice little spots like you know maybe your ear or armpits or groin areas like that so anyway that's the scoop so next time we'll talk about something else exciting so should they like this video if they like it um, yeah make sure to like the video and subscribe for more videos or watch our previous video which was um what it feels like to have an invisible disease all right see you next time see you next time bye